Previously on Butch Patterson. My name is Anita Prebody. I work for the Montgomery Insurance Company. We specialize in jewelry, diamonds, rubies, the odd opal. I think you'll find I do some of my best work sans pants. You want more booze? I don't know who took the diamond. In fact, I don't think anybody did. Jesus Christ, that's enough money to fill a pig. There's nothing else to go on. Tell you what, Ironside. Why don't you leave the sleuth into me? That's why they call me a dick. Well, one of the reasons. Van Vander Van. Vance Van Vander Van, I'm the curator. It's the stupidest name I've ever heard. You made that up, didn't you? Who said it was missing? Spill the beans, you glass-eyed freak, or I'll make you rue the day you picked that haircut. Now, what else is there? Just this tank top. How's it going? Ma was still fuming at me for legging it in the middle of the night and stiffing her on the back rent I owed. It wasn't the only problem between us, but it was the biggest. I don't know. I don't know. You can't ground me. Well, how about I start paying it back in installments? Well, yeah, that is kind of like paying rent. Only I can't afford that much a month. So instead of paying you a monthly rent, I'll pay a percentage of it in installments. Till I'm all caught up or I move out. Now I can't meet you today. I'm working a big case. 246 bucks. Plus expenses. Yeah, okay. I'll meet you later. I was strapped, busted, flat broke, baby. I needed a fix of greenbacks before Ma called in her markers and I knew just the tree to suck the sap out of. Patterson here. Butch Patterson, private dick. Look, Gumdrop, this whole Parisian blue is knocking my wallet around like a punch-drunk pug. I'm up to my superfluous nipple and expenses. Yeah, well, the light's a long way from the end of the tunnel, baby. I'm gonna need another advance. Well, look, if you don't got the stomach for it, maybe you should find another line of work. Yeah, I know you just gave me 250 a couple of hours ago. I'm just laying it out for you. Yeah, enough with the waterworks, muffin blouse. Yeah, old Butchie forgives you. I don't know. How about 2,200 bucks? No, wait, 2,260 bucks. And I want it all in fives. So it looks like more when I'm flashing it in front of the broads. Now, I don't come to my office. I don't trust you being alone with me after what you tried to get me to do for four bucks. We'll meet someplace nice and neutral. You know the liquor store down on Main? Yeah, I'll see you there at 5 o'clock. I'll be waiting at the cash. Buckle up, liver. You're in for one damn holy ass whooping. That Anita was some dame, just the way I like them, desperate and with real deep pockets. I had a couple of hours to kill, so I decided to treat myself to a little fish teasing. Attack! Attack! 
jerk. Yeah, take it, can you? Shark attack! Then I decided to put my shoes on my hands and pretend to be an upside down man. Oh, my spine! Then I decided to give my old pal Frank a call. Good afternoon, sir. I'm calling from the Board of Health to let you know that 15 of your wife's current lovers have tested positive for syphilis. Since your parents are on record as having contracted the disease several years ago, we naturally assume the problem of, with your wife's lovers could be traced back to you since your grossly deformed physical appearance has all the classic signs of inbreeding. That and the fact that you're stupid. So we were wondering, could you drag your grotesquely disfigured self down to our clinic? So we could run a series of tests to determine how far along your syphilis is, just to see if that's the reason why you're such an ugly, insane idiot. Hello? many blackouts. I jumped the gun and arrived at the liquor store an hour early, but you know what they say, patience is a virtue. Unless of course you ain't had a drink in a few hours, then it's just a dumb ignorant son of a bitch like a bully in the schoolyard to get you cornered at recess and keeps punching you in the same spot in your arm until you get a bruise as big as a lemur's head. And you start crying so bad you lose control of your bowels and wet yourself. And when you go inside and tell the teacher, she tells you to pull up your socks and be a man. So you get your nerve up and go back outside and tell the bully he better start picking on someone else. And the big fisted bastard just laughs and belts you a good one smack dab on the lemur bruise and you fall down and bang your head on the bike rack. And when you wake up all the kids in your class are standing around you in a big circle laughing and pointing. Cause while you were in Dreamsville sport the bully pulled down your pants. And now everyone knows you're wearing your mother's control top pantyhose and you got a big tattoo on your ass. Kids can be cruel and that's the kind of thing they never let a boy forget. Day in and day out the teasing and mocking until the anger and resentment finally builds up in you and you can't take it anymore. So you decide to track that bully down and lay a lemur on him. You find a guy living in a rich swanky shack in a nice part of town and you store him up this cobblestone walk and pound on his door and the son of a bitch says hey Patterson you big bruisey Shirley templed ass crybaby and cranks you on right in the arm and you go down like overalls at quitting time and split your head open on the porch. But all things considered, it was good to be alive. So good I figured I'd go to a nearby store and steal some cigars. I don't normally go in for the good looking type because they usually tell me to go to hell and file restraining orders, but something about this dame told me things could be different. She had the kind of looks guys like me dreamed about when they were touching themselves in bus station washrooms. You want to go halves on a cigar while I wait for more booze? Go to hell before I call the cops and file a restraining order. See what I mean? Still breaking hearts, Patterson? How's it going, Blanche? Still dreaming of Pulitzers? Mind if I sit down? That's a free country if you don't count food, taxes, rent, booze, utilities, and hookers. So between you, me, and the big man upstairs, I don't think it matters a lick come Sunday where you park at Sparkles. I'm waiting for more booze, and old Butchie's getting nice and loaded. Word around town has you working on the Parisian blue case. If you believed everything you heard around town, I wouldn't have lost my virginity betting on the pace car. And son of a bitch is due. What's your interest in the rock? Rubella, specifically Tommy Rubella. He's the great-great-grandson of the Rubella family. When I heard through the grapevine that the Parisian blue went missing and that someone stands to make a pretty penny if it stays that way, I put two and two together. Four. Very good. 
Anyways, you can bet your bottom dollar that any time you hear the name Rubella, something's up. Tommy already runs this town on fear, greed, and intimidation. And if my sources are right, he's looking to expand. Sounds like the kind of blouse John Law should be looking down. Cops? Half of them cashed their checks with Rubella's name on it. And the ones who don't gave up caring about this city long ago. No, someone's got to take on Rubella. And if the law's too afraid, then it's up to people like me. Once the story's busted and people know just how deep he's got his claws in, there won't be enough money in the world to buy his way out of prison. What's in it for you? Like you said, the Pulitzer maybe? A bit of fame and money to pay a girl back for all the hours of work and danger. Maybe even buy her a bit of the class she deserves. Who knows, maybe even the Nobel Prize for investigative news stories under 500 words with front page byline and photo. Where do you see me fitting in? Or are you just keeping me around because I make the fireworks go off in your girl spot like it was the 4th of July? We're both going in the same direction here. I thought we could share notes and make both our lives easier. What's my cut? The satisfaction of helping a lady out? How about the satisfaction of helping a lady out? My name in the story. The name of a good tattoo removal place. A big hungry cat that I'm going to need for a couple of hours. Nine cigars, a bottle of peach schnapps and $126,000 in fives. The satisfaction thing, the tattoo thing, no cat. Your name in the story, 10 bucks, and the little bottle of whiskey in my purse that I got on the airplane. Deal. But I want the cash in fives. So, what have you got so far? I was just down checking out Van Vandervan. He's as clean as a seal's colon. Still expecting The Rock to show up. If it is missing, he ain't in on it. I'm heading down now to check out NTR Enterprises. Who's that? So far, it's only a what. It's a mailbox drop site. But I got a feeling the owner might be persuaded and giving up who it's fronting for. And I got a bigger feeling that's either once I have that name, I'll know who's behind this whole mess, or I gotta go to the bathroom. If it is missing, then Tommy's not going to sit still. I'm going to tail him and see where that trail leads. What do you want to meet again? I want to know what you find out about this NTR Enterprises. Like I said, I got to hook up with my client, then I'm heading down there. We'll get together later on and have a few drinks. Maybe I'll answer that other question that's been on your mind. What's that, Patterson? Whether I'd look as good naked lying on a bearskin rug in front of a roaring fire taking a long, sensuous pull-off of 40 of coconut rum, I would with my clothes on. Try not to stare at my ass too long when I'm walking away. You'll only embarrass yourself. Ow, my femur! Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, I don't know what them orphans and kittens were doing playing on a landing strip, but this big concord comes flying in and they all panic and freeze. You know, like when you're driving here, have a seat here. You know, like when you're driving down a country road there, you know, real slow with the lights off till you see the raccoons, and you jam the gas and flip on the high beams. You know, normally me, it's look out for number one, but them being orphans and kittens and all, I figured I'd dive in there and save them. That's when the big plane came in, the wing clipped me on the femur there. I'll probably get a medal. That's great. Uh, anyhow, about my case, have you found anything out yet? Nah. Van Vandervan don't know Jack. I'm on my way down to the mailbox drop site now. Then I'm hooking up with a friend I got in the press who's, uh, well, let's just say she's an interested party. My bosses are getting antsy. They don't much like the thought of parting ways with $50 million. Well, I don't much like the thought of going to my OBGYN. But that hasn't stopped me from trying to bust down the barriers of pressing my gender. You tell your bosses no one's taking the three-legged dog out for walkies until I pick the park. But that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, maybe it's best that way. Tell you what, I'll see you later. But...
Must be some important letter you're expecting. Cool your jets, halter top. I ain't here for no mail. I got some questions that need answering. You better lay it on the line real kosher. Or I'll straighten out your breakfast routine quicker than you can switch religions. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I ain't got time to teach you English, halter top. I want to know who's renting a box under NTR Enterprises. It's privileged information. It's against the law for me to tell you. Well, the law don't much like me going around town savagely beating people, but don't make the mistake of thinking I give a rat's ass. I'm a loose cannon, Mr. A Lone Wolf. I'm like a freight train, and the load I'm pulling goes by the name Fist in your face if you don't wise up. The only law around here answers to the name Patterson. Butch Patterson. Private Dick. You're not that guy from the petting zoo, are you? That poor llama. I don't know what you heard, mister, but I was just petting it. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. And make no mistake, old Butchie's happy to go either way. Sometimes you just gotta speak their language. He knew better than to call my bluff. Still, part of me was disappointed. I hadn't beaten a man within an inch of his life in almost two weeks, and I had an itch that needed scratching. Here it is. Yeah, save your breath, fool boy. I'm willing to bet NTR Enterprises is owned and operated by Tommy Rubella. Mister, you couldn't be more wrong. As a matter of fact, NTR stands for not Tommy Rubella Enterprises. Either I'd read this whole thing wrong, or this Rubella thug was slicker than I'd imagined. Then who exactly signs the checks for this little operation? Hitler. Just Hitler? That's right, just Hitler. There's no first name listed. Hitler. There was something familiar about the name, but I couldn't place my finger on it. I had an idea who could, though, and I aimed to get myself fingered. Thanks for your help, prick. Before I go, two things. I was never here. I was just petting that llama. Girl, be wise to keep her doors locked late at night. For all you know, I could be some dysfunctional freak with a puppet show in my pants who's been stalking you for weeks, waiting outside your house at 8.15 every morning when you go to work, hiding behind the dumpster on the corner of Bronson and Fifth when you go into Monty's coffee shop for a cappuccino and carrot muffin, then racing ahead of you to your office so I could hide under the stairs and look up your skirt when you go in, and spending the rest of the day writing poems about it in my special love diary. You're kind of scaring me, Butch. Don't sweat it, baby. My heart's pounding, too. We both got needs. What's wrong with two people wanting to find each other in this crazy, mixed-up world? Sure, it might not last forever. Society may turn up its nose. What's wrong with just wanting to feel good? Even if it's just for one night with a drunken, premature ejaculator. You're a woman, after all. Leastwise, as far as I can tell. You know, never having seen your privates. So, anyways, what are you doing here tonight? Did you find out about Antiar Enterprises? Yeah, Hitler's behind it. Hitler? You mean he's alive? You know him? Of course I know him. World War II? The most evil man in the history of the human race? Why would you want to hang out with a guy like that? Stick with old Butchie. I'll treat you better than that Hitler jerk any day. I don't know him personally. He's just a famous dictator and war criminal. Come on, you must have heard of the Nazis. Hitler? Goebbels? Gehring? Hit the brakes there, Buttercup. What was that last name? Gehring. Harriman Gehring? Man at the pawn shop tried to sell me his golf shoes today. Come on. I got a feeling Vance Van Vandervan can answer the question on both of our minds. I knew I'd find your fingerprints all over this. I'm afraid you're one up on me. I haven't the slightest idea who you are or what you're talking about. I'm the woman who's going to bring you to your knees and free this city from your filthy clutches. There is no Parisian blue, is there? This whole thing was just a hoax so you could collect a cool 50 million and expand your criminal empire. You'd be smart to hold your tongue, lady. Those are some pretty serious allegations you're throwing around. A man less uh, cultured than myself might take them as a threat and decide to eliminate the source. You can't threaten me, Rubella. <laughs> it's a promise. 
And one I would enjoy keeping. Van Vanderban? Van Vanderban? That's me? Ah, sign here. I've got a big diamond here from Belgium for you. Uh, uh, sorry, it's late. Uh, we lost the way bill. All wrapped up in one neat little package. My client's gonna be happier than a fat man in zero gravity. So, the diamond isn't missing. That still doesn't explain why you're here, Rubella. I know you're crooked. And I know you're the great-great-grandson of the Rubella family of Belgium. Overseas postage. <laughs> it's cheaper to send them all in one package. <laughs> This isn't over, Tommy Rubella. Mark my words. I don't know what the hell all that was about, Van Vanderban, but that still doesn't answer my question. What more could there possibly be? Remember your office earlier? I'm the guy that stole your booze and headbutted you. Yeah, I remember. You said you'd have to see it on. What do you think? It's nice, I guess. Yeah, you're damn straight it is, pal. Come on, Blanche, let you and me find a bar and watch old Butchie here get loaded. Good looking at my ass, Van Vanderbilt. Ow, my urethra! Next on Butch Patterson. You got any coffee on? Yeah, there's a fresh pot just finished. You might want to think about having a cup. You look like something the dog had fun times with after everyone went to bed. I mean, it's a gremlin, right? You don't see too many of those around anymore, and, well, a topless female mechanic can go her whole career without ever getting under the hood of one of those, and I wasn't about to let it go. That'll be $38. Put it on my tab. You don't have a tab. 